Is there anything that angers a scientist more than when somebody uses up all the pipette tips and doesn't replace them? Yes, anal rape! Hi, I'm Joanne and I'm a scientist. Today we're here to talk about sci-fi superhero, The Incredible Hulk. What happened during that gamma radiation blast that turned mild, meek-mannered Bruce Banner into a giant green rage machine? To answer this question, we employed the help of a microwave and a corrupt monkey. And the results were delicious! So we decided to ask a different question instead. Just how effectively could Bruce Banner really avoid being stressed or angry? A recent study found that the combination of deep breathing, meditation, guided imagery, and cognitive behavioral therapy hey. significantly reduced the levels of stress hormone cortisol in participant saliva, though not quite to baseline levels. I could explain that in simpler terms for some of you, but I didn't have time to put glitter onto my sock puppet. Bottom line, while Bruce Banner could meditate and breathe away some of his stress, he'd still have quite a bit of residual anger to get rid of. The awkward truth about being the Hulk and so constantly having to repress your anger is that it would turn you into a kind of passive-aggressive asshole. Between ignoring the other Avengers and going, nothing, I'm fine, when asked what is wrong, Bruce would probably be running around, leaving passive-aggressive notes, giving backhanded compliments, and generally being a bit of a jerk. So the Incredible Hulk would be the Incredible Sulk. And that's the awkward truth. 